Hello and welcome to Angela's Busy Bees Garden and Homestead. Guys, today um, the weather is so beautiful. I think it's about uh, in the upper 50s. And so I've been out in the garden and I didn't bring my phone with me to record a video. So um, I stopped halfway and uh, went back to get my cell phone so that I can share with you what I'm doing today. Um, I had a friend who collected a lot of leaves and placed the leaves in a barrel and um, he used his tiller to shred up the leaves really fine and um, he gave me two large bags like this bag you see here I've been using a lot of it already but he gave me two orange bags like this filled with leaves that's been shredded and normally when I collect leaves from on, on the homestead they really don't break down at all. So I really appreciate that uh, he broke these down for me um, using his garden tiller. But what I've been doing, guys, is I have been covering each of the beds. Excuse my shadow. I have been covering each of the beds uh, with the leaves. And as you can see over here, I have some of the Sedum Autumn Joy coming back. And in these little beds over here, um, this is where I have my uh, tulips. And they are coming back over here as well. I've done the same thing. I normally plant garlic in the cells of these cinder blocks. And uh, I went on and added some of the leaf, the leaf mulch on top of that as well. Um, I've also done a lot of the pots. Uh, I've done these four here. That one there. I've also done this one. And this is the bed that I normally plant my potatoes. And I also have some thyme in here as well. And another Sedum Autumn Joy, as you can see, is coming back to life. And so now what I'm working on is taking care of these three beds and so what I'm doing first is um, I'm removing all of the weeds and the grass out of the bed this one has already been cleaned out but as you can see I've got to clean this one out and I've got to clean this one out and it's really not that bad guys because when I use my hoe it comes up very easily so it's not a lot of labor in taking it out um, but um, as you can see here like with this one all i have to do now is to spread my leaf mulch on top i have also done this barrel here and uh, added leaves on top of it done the same thing with this one removing the leaves and then adding the leaf mulch and now that i have removed the leaves from this one I'm going to go on and add my leaf mulch to it. And what I'm going to do is go back and water it in so that um, the leaves don't blow away. But I'm patting it down to try to hold it down. And because that bag is so heavy right now, I haven't been able to pull the bag over here. So I'm using this bucket to fill it up with the leaves and then come back and spread. But let me get back with you. I'm going to see how much I can get over into this bed and show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I was able to pull this bag over here. And I'm simply going to spread the leaves out with my rake just to cover over the soil. And this will also help with keeping the weeds down and uh, during the growing season, it'll help to keep moisture in the bed, um, especially um, during those months where you have to water once a day, sometimes even twice a day. And then also when this breaks down, it's also gonna provide good nutrition um, for your soil. 
And as you can see here, this is what my leaves look like. And it takes forever for them to break down. So you can see how fine these are, uh, which is gonna really help the garden in providing nutrients uh, much sooner as opposed to if I had used these large leaves, it would take forever to actually break down. But I'm gonna go on and continue spreading this out. Trying to get it as even as possible. And like I said, I'm gonna come back and water it. And that will also help to keep it down. Um, but even though it's a nice day today, it's a bit windy. Okay, and guys, when I get ready to plant in this bed, what I'm simply going to do is move some of the mulch back like this, and then dig a hole and insert my plant and then cover it back up. And like I said, this will also serve like a mulch um, in keeping the weeds down and also helping to retain moisture. Okay, guys, this is Angela with Angela's Busy Bees Garden and Homestead. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Bye-bye.